Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine with this week's video fishing forecast. Well, we survived the big storm that rolled through last week. Fortunately, it took a turn out east and did not make major landfall as originally potentially predicted it could do. Uh, we still got hit with some good weather, some winds, some rain, slightly higher tides, but we didn't get hit with the brunt of the storm, which is always a good thing. And you know what we benefited from? It really turned the fishing on inshore and in the surf, so we'll get to that in a minute. But starting off this week, as always, we're going to begin in Connecticut, where the big news right now is that blackfish season for the fall finally reopens this Saturday, October 10th. And it'll have a four fish limit with a minimum length of 16 inches on those blackfish. And I'm already getting word that there's been a lot of bycatch, catch and release, unintentional blackfish catches being made by the guys going inshore for uh, sea bass and porgies and so on. So there are a lot of fish around, so hopefully it starts off with a bang. And I'm planning on heading out this coming Monday with world record holder Ken Westerfeld. We're going to fish during the day and then on Monday evening he's actually going to be doing a free seminar at the Sound Anglers Club. Now check out the YouTube card that just popped up on the upper corner of your screen right now for all the details on this meeting. See how you can attend on Monday night. So I hope to see you there. And moving on, if bottom fishing isn't your game, there's an excellent bluefish bite going on right now inside Long Island Sound, out along the race, all along the shoreline. With all that bait around, it's no surprise that there's blues on them. And the Black Hawk party boat has been slamming the fish, or as Greg calls it, they've been black hawking them lately on diamond jigs. They've been nailing tons and tons of bluefish. They've also got some nice bycatch of some keeper sea bass mixed in, and the occasional striped bass. So it's an awesome bite going on right now inside Long Island Sound. Then over in Rhode Island, as I noted before, the surf bite really benefited from the big storm that rolled through last week. Even got rumors of fish up to 50 pounds caught in Rhode Island. Haven't been able to verify it yet this, at this point, but I would not be surprised as there was tons of 20 and 30 pound class bass taken in the surf, as well as several over 40 pounds that I know of that were caught as well. Uh, it was awesome too because primarily a plug bite. Needlefish and darters were probably the number one go-to uh, by nighttime, daytime, topwater, pencil poppers, and so on. Also, in the breechways, the usual bucktails and swimming plugs like the bomber or the redfin produce extremely well. And as of even up to last night, just before producing this video today, I got word the bite is still going strong. So if you want to get in on some really hot action, head down to Rhode Island right now. Uh, let's see, speaking of the storm, the storm that rolled up pretty much canceled all of the boat fishing going on uh, into the weekend. A lot of trips were canceled. The party boat fleet over in Point Judith unfortunately had to stay tied to the dock. They had an awesome cod bite going on prior to the storm. Not quite sure where that stands right now, but the Francis fleet was planning to head out Wednesday. Hopefully we'll get a report uh, coming this Sunday in the Fisherman's Fishing Reports uh, as to how they did. They're also going for an offshore extended tuna trip Wednesday night, and they've got a good tuna trip scheduled for this weekend, and a few spots just opened up. So if you're interested in getting in on a little bit of fall offshore tuna fishing, give the Francis fleet a call, see if you can grab up one of those last spots that they have available this weekend. Then up in Massachusetts, blackfish action in Buzzards Bay remains very, very good. Uh, despite the storm rolling through, some dirty water in close. Captain Jason Colby, a Little Sister Charters, fishing out of the Westport River, headed off slightly deeper water this week and found some very, very good action on blackfish after getting in on that continued striped bass bite that he's had at daybreak inside the river. So really good uh, combo going on right there. Then up on the North Shore, got word of an absolutely awesome squid bite going on right now. Guys are going out, Tomo's Tackle reports some of the anglers are jigging up over 250 tubes in an outing, which is absolutely amazing. Making for some awesome bait as well as table fare. And this uh, squid that's hanging around inshore has done wonders for helping the striped bass as well as bluefish inshore bite hold up and kick into gear as those fish load up before they head south for their annual migration. So there you have it. I'm Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine, wishing you tight lines on the water. To receive the latest fishing reports, subscribe to the Fisherman's YouTube page. Click subscribe, then click the settings button and check send me updates. You'll now receive notifications of the latest Fisherman YouTube videos and reports. If you're already a subscriber, make sure you've checked send me updates in the settings so you receive the latest notifications.